everyone, this is going to be the reading for Pisces for the month of June 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus as well as Mars and North Node. Uh, so you can check out all the other signs as well for a more holistic reading. Uh, because this is a general messaging, so not all the, all the messages may resonate. Also, if you'd like to book a reading with me, you can drop me a message on Facebook or email. Both the links are in the description box below and I'll get back to you soon. So Pisces, I'll just draw out one more card and then we can start the reading for you. What do we have for Pisces for June 2024? Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you the cards that I'm getting. The first one is the Five of Cups. The second one is the Seven of Wands. The next one is the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Sun card, which is the best, possibly the best card to have in any reading. Okay, so Pisces, I feel like for a really long time, a lot of you feel like you've been carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. Like you've been really bearing the burden of a lot of other people around you. And I say this because the Ten of Wands is showing up in this reading. And that's very much about taking on a burden that's not really yours. But it's also about endings because Tens are about endings. So I feel like this is all like um, the tipping point for you. Because after that we have the Sun card which is everything working out in your favor. Now... Till that happens, I feel like you may have to go through a period where, like I said, you are taking on the burden of a lot of people, which maybe aren't yours to take. And Pisces, you are a very giving sign. You're extremely selfless when it comes to uh, people that you love in your life. You're very giving. You're very caring, almost to a fault. Um, and so you can often take on burdens or responsibilities of other people um, that are not really yours and then you end up stressing yourself out because just like your sister sign Virgo you are a very service oriented sign uh, but your acts of service are different compared to Virgo so if you are if you find yourself doing this in your life then it's time to sort of let it go because these are not your burdens to carry Pisces you were not meant to travel this life carrying other people's burdens you are meant to be in this life to be a free bird and do whatever you want to do that makes you happy now that being said you may go through this period before the sun card comes into the picture you may go through this period uh, which is the seven of wands where you feel like the people around you may be attacking you or they're blaming you for things that aren't really your fault and you're having to defend yourself in the process and Pisces, that can happen to you sometimes because um, you're a very feeling-oriented sign and you're extremely sensitive um, and you give to a fault. So sometimes people can take not only advantage of that, but they can blame you for situations that are entirely their fault as well. And so I feel like maybe you're having to go through that where you're kind of having to defend your territory, so to speak, or... Um, uh, sort of explain yourself to people when it's really not their business in the first place to ask you questions about your own life you know if that makes sense so maybe people are questioning you about your life choices or you know any responsibilities that you have or anything pertaining to your life I feel like people around you are either questioning you questioning you about it or they are blaming you for those things and you may feel like you're constantly having to over explain yourself to people around you. Now, the, I am seeing the five of cups energy in this reading, and this is a bit of regret of, um, sorry, energy of regret or spilt milk, that kind of energy. Um, and this is also the energy of uh, you looking at the glass half empty sort of you know uh, because in the five of cups uh, card the person is looking at the three cups that are fallen down and the you know it's sort of turned upside down but if they were to look behind them they would see that they still have the two of cups in the upright position so it's almost about like changing your perspective a little bit hanged man kind of energy where 
if you were to just take a look around you would feel that you know life is so much better than what it currently is because you do have a lot of things going on in your life that um, can bring you a lot of joy and peace you know i do want to do a clarification on this 10 of wands what is this burden that pisces is taking on what is it that they need to take care of the death card yeah something is definitely ending for sure I'm also getting the Eight of Cups. So you're definitely moving away from something that just uh, took up a lot of your time and energy. It's just not worth anymore. Um, you you know, you're taking on the burden of other people and just stressing yourself out this way. What is this Five of Cups energy for Pisces? Why are they feeling this way? What is the Five of Cups energy for Pisces? Okay. We have two cards here, very Taurian cards actually. The first one is the Empress and the next one is the Hierophant. Both of these are Taurian cards, Venusian cards. And the Five of Cups, um, you know, this is a clarification for the Five of Cups. I feel like maybe you're feeling a sense of regret because you've not really allowed yourself to enjoy life that much in the recent past because you know the empress energy is very relaxed venusian energy it's the card of taurus it's all about indulging in the good things of life not stressing about life because you already know that what's gonna you know everything good is gonna come your way that kind of energy uh, it's the energy of abundance as well and knowing that even more abundance is coming to you and the Five of Cups is not really that energy. The Five of Cups is kind of the opposite where you feel like things are not going your way or you feel like um, it's not exactly the way you would have wanted it to be. Like it's not the ideal situation at all. So you may be feeling that way because you feel like you have given away your power or you've given away your time and energy to people, things and situations that are just sapping you of all that energy. And that's leaving you feel, feeling very depleted, Pisces. Um, the higher event is also coming up as a clarification for this Five of Cups because I feel like um, Pisces, like I said, you got the Ten of Wands in this reading and that's also about multitasking, like I said, taking on way too many responsibilities that are really not your own. And the higher event is kind of the opposite. The higher event is not about doing so many things that you don't even have time for yourself. The higher event is really about sticking to tradition sticking to maybe like one or two things at a time things that have always worked for you uh, basically sticking to processes that you want you already know are tested in your life that that have always brought you joy you know so it's a i feel like it requires you in the month of june to sort of go back to those things go back to the things that brought you joy go back to the things that actually make sense to you um uh, that are rooted in solid common sense, you know, because I feel like if you are really doing so many things for other people, then you probably don't have much time left for yourself. And that's really sapping you of your energy. That being said, um, I also got the death card and I got the and I got the eight of cups as a clarification for this ten of wands, which tells me that this period is ending where you felt like you had to take on burdens or responsibilities of so many people around you uh, you're realizing that's really not your um, burden to take on and so you're probably walking away from that situation or these situations that you've been putting yourself through because the eight of cups is about moving away from something and moving towards something that is far more rewarding long term Yes, it may be difficult for you at first because Pisces, like I said, you're so giving and you get attached to people who are close to you that if you have to move away from them, it causes you a lot of heartache. It causes you a lot of hurt to do that. So it's, it's not the most comfortable of scenarios, but it's definitely rewarding in the long term because you're basically cutting your losses. Uh, you're streamlining your life in this way and you're doing away with people situations and things that are draining you of your energy you really don't need that in your life Pisces because uh, you are one sign that does require a lot of grounding on a regular basis so just on a practical note I would definitely say if you can work with soil like gardening or if you can ground yourself through some other method on a daily basis that's just going to help you a lot because you can get so connected to the abstract realm that 
you can often feel very ungrounded at times but all that said and done i feel like this spirit of turmoil the spirit of you always having to explain yourself the spirit of regret all this depletion of energy that's been happening i feel like that's all coming to an end because you are making the decision to walk away from it that's where the transformation happens because the death is also about transformation and so you're walking away from all of this towards something better sure it may not be that happy because you're having to walk away from people that you love but if that means that they're going to stress you out and drain you of your energy then it's better that you walk away you know but then what follows is the sun card which is the happiest card to have in any reading because this is about you fulfilling all of your wants and needs this is about you being really happy in your life this is about also you connecting to your inner child like doing the things that made you happy as a child what did, what brought you joy what did uh, what did you do as a child that really brought you peace and happiness i feel like those are the things that you're really getting back to in the month of june i feel like it's great because i feel like you're really doing away with any kind of toxic patterns or cycles in your life you're putting a final end to it because the death card is very final there's no going back to these old um, cycles anymore so so pisces that's what i have for you in the month of june if you like this reading do give it a thumbs up your likes help my videos stay relevant in the youtube algorithm and also helps me push out more content for you guys so that you can enjoy more tarot videos if you uh, would like to book a reading with me you can drop me a message on facebook and email the links are in the description box and i'll see you soon thanks a lot for watching guys bye